Mario games are pretty easy to beat, and this is true for Super Mario 3D World, but if you reach the special worlds, you know things can get challenging, especially if you want to collect every green star, stamp, and golden flagpole. This quick guide will show you some cool tricks and jumps to help you on challenging stages, to show off to friends, or just for fun. First things first, know your jump kit. On this game, you can jump, long jump, roll, side flip, wall kick, back flip, rampant jump, spin jump, and on the switch port, you can dive. Now, be honest with me, when did you realize that this game has no triple jump? Because it took me a while. I'm assuming you already know how to do all of these maneuvers, but if you're missing some, you can check your move list on the pause menu. If what you need is a lot of reach, your go to move will be a long jump out of a roll. Just pick up speed by running in circles, and only with a maximum speed, roll right at the edge of the platform and immediately press jump. This move can help you bypass so much since you can jump so far. For example, you're on boiling blue bully belt, you could wait for the platforms to appear, or you could just... Be mindful! Some distances can be lead by a simple long jump, and you can't cancel a rolling long jump once you started it. So don't overdo it, or you'll leap straight into death. If what you need is a lot of height, you have many options. The jump that reaches the highest is the spin jump, so spin jumping into a dive can do the job. If there is a wall, however, spin jump into the wall, do a wall kick, and at the highest of all of that, do your dive. If you don't like jerking your stick that much, then start with a ground pound jump, and it generally will get you just as high. This maneuver is the one to perform when you miss the top of the flagpole at the end of a grueling stage. Of course, it only works if there's a wall behind the pole. If you're in a corner, you can even do a spin jump, wall kick twice, and then do your dive to even reach some secret areas. Rosalina can use corners to completely break the game, but I covered that in another video. Think you need the Katsu to reach those jumping pads? Think again! Honestly, the biggest game changer is the dive maneuver. Use it to get collectibles and save yourself from falls. That's the best tip I can give you. Lastly, keep in mind that some of these jumps can't be performed at all with the Katsu or the Tanuki Leaf, since both of them completely alter your moveset. At the TVH, going peach with a tanuki leaf will always be the cheese strat to let you basically not play the game. But, I mean, learning crazy moves and maneuvers, it's so much more fun than just holding B. Hope you learned something new. I have a couple of other Mario 3D World tutorials and even a Let's Play if you're interested. Subscribe for more Mario slash Nintendo related content. And thank you so much for watching. Mystic Player out.